I'm just on my way down to pick Adrian up from the special care unit, which he attends Monday to Friday from 9 to about half two. And Adrian special care unit this week are having their fun week. So I've decided to dress up as Captain America to try and fit in with them all down there. Aiden's 12 now and when she was born she, we never got a diagnosis of what, what was wrong with her. They just noticed something was wrong when she was three hours old that she wasn't feeding. Uh, she wasn't able to suck the sooner. So she went to, she stayed in the ICU for two weeks and then she was sent off to Temple Street for further tests and eventually after about a month we were sent home. Um, with no diagnosis, just only recently there in the last year or two they done a study over in the UK uh, on Aiden in a college and they came back after two and a half years to say that she had a condition called DNM1 which they say there's only about four or five documented cases in Ireland but uh, they tried to explain it that it was a, a gene deletion that caused what is wrong with Adrian and if it was any other gene that was deleted it wouldn't make any difference to her. Um, Adrian attends the uh, HSE, it's called the Special Care Unit which is here in Navan. <laughs> They have teachers in the special care unit that Aiden would attend maybe for half an hour a day, depending on how she, she is. Uh, if she was sleepy or that, they would keep her to nurses, would uh, keep her in the room. Or if she's awake and alert, they would send her down for half an hour to the teacher to do some sensory work and uh, bits of paint and stuff like that. We heard about Laura Lynn because when Aiden was about two years old, she, one of the nurses for the HSC had told us about Laura Lynn. It was only opened about six months. We, so we were, uh, had an interview with him and with Aidan, they showed us around and we were fairly impressed with what we seen. We, we were worried about you know, sending Aidan away somewhere that we didn't know, but Laura Lynn has always been like a home from home now for Aidan and we feel safe and confident with the care she gets while she's there. We don't have to worry about it. They try and make it as, as fun as possible and they would have camps and that for the siblings so the siblings can kind of get away from the idea of a hospital for a while and spend time together with families and they just ha ha help you out as much as they can really and if you ever have a problem you can ring them. Aideen would go into Laurel Inn for, she could go in for a two or three day break at a time when we, when we send her in. And we wouldn't leave Aiden if we weren't happy with the care that she, she was getting in Lower Lynn. I would definitely uh, recommend the hospital because um, a lot of people be out there doing it all on their own and not realise that the help is out there for them. And I know you, you might feel guilty. Like sometimes at the start I used to feel guilty with Aiden going in to the hospice and that, but I could see she, she enjoyed her time there and it was probably one of the better decisions that we ever made that were sent to the hospice.